What is up, everybody? It's March 6, 2023, and this is where the roads are closed. So this is Highway 18, you all. This is where you guys would be coming in from the Big Bear Dam, just beyond this point, where it's completely shut down. Um, and we are near Boulder Bay and Papoose Bay in Big Bear. We're on Highway 18. We're going to turn around, but I want you guys to see what is going on over here. So it's still closed over here. I don't know how long it's going to be closed for, but we're going to do a drive headed from where we can from this side of town, the snowiest part of the valley until we get through the village. And then I think we're going to not, uh, we might go through Moon Ridge as well. well. We'll go through Upper Moon Ridge just to show you guys an update there. But if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing, help me out. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it a lot. It really helps a lot. So thank you guys. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it really does help. So we are headed on the route that most of you take. 90% of you usually come on Highway 18 take 330 to highway 18 to get up here and so i wanted you guys to see what it looks like if you were able to come into town but not only are you not able but we can't even go out that direction and if you guys watched the aftermath video where i was driving for that aftermath portion um when we got to the very end it's the last minute or two if, if you guys fast forward through that hour and a half to the last minute or two you can see what it actually looks like at the big bear dam it's unbelievable it really is. There's like four feet of snow as far as the eye can see. It, 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 it looks like a, it, like a road in the middle of Siberia, untouched. And we're passing Boulder Bay, the Boulder Bay right now, but you can't see because of all the snow. But yeah, guys, we are, as I said, we started this drive in the snowiest part of the valley. And when I'm talking about the valley, I'm talking about the 6,780 feet to 6,800 feet elevations. But when we get up to Upper Moon Ridge, that's where uh, is this, that's the snowiest part of our whole town. And once again, guys, thank you for everything. You guys have been so amazing. I've had so much fun doing these videos forever, but through this storm especially, it's been great. And those of you, if you are super bored this next Saturday on March 10th, it's my birthday and I'm going to be doing a live feed all day. I'm going to take time off my regular job um, and I'm going to do a live feed all day so we can talk story and just uh, just get to know each other better. You, you guys are so special to me. I love you guys so much and it's been so much fun doing these for you guys. So if you're not, not busy, we'll be doing a live feed and I think that would be great. That's such a beautiful place. As I said, the live feed, it's gonna be an all day event. There's gonna be two of them because I can only do them for like 11 hours and 59 minutes at a time. And I'm gonna be going in and out. I might even go skiing and post a video of, of, of doing one run skiing, but we shall see. I am so out of shape and I'm in, I hurt all the time. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but since it is free for your birthday, as long as you present a picture ID, Maybe we shall do that. All right. Once again, we're on Highway 18. We're on the Big Bear Lake side of town. It's really incredible to see this place so quiet because usually when we have this much snow there uh, guys there's there's bumper to bumper traffic from just everywhere you go so that's the only thing I'm enjoying but I'm super disappointed for you guys especially a, a lot of you who love to ski and snowboard I don't want you guys to be missing this especially the best best conditions we've had in 40 plus years for skiing with that champagne powder snow that type that you get in extraordinarily dry climates like the Rockies, etc. It's the perfect snow to go skiing in. That's where that term, for those of you who don't know, it's a pow day comes from because it's a powder day. Here is a paid sledding area for, the, for you and the kids, you guys. So your kids don't wear out quickly and they can just keep on going up and down, up and down, up and down. There's um, a walkway that is... Um, uh, 
it pulls you up to the top so you don't have to use any energy and then the kids can just sled down and enjoy themselves not worry about sliding into cars in the street or anything like that I do have on my playlist a video of a few free or like uh, just just good uh, just kind of I guess free sledding locations um, but obviously with this much snow you guys can drive around and find your own places to go my only suggestion and it's very important is if, if you just really look hard for no trespassing signs because they will be buried at this point Hang on a second. they will be buried at this point um, because of so much snow but keep your eye out for no trespassing signs etc and private property because I don't want anyone getting in any trouble just because you want to have a great time so so pretty this is our village as you guys know After we go through the village, we're going to turn left and go back through parts of like Lakeview Drive. But we are going to stop by one of our friend on this channel's places to take a look at it. I'm trying to do the best I can for all of you like that. All of you who, who are really nervous about what your houses look like up here. I want you guys to rest assured that everything's okay, or at least be able to show you what's going on so you can just have that, that peace of mind. I really care about you guys a lot and I don't want you guys stressing out about anything. Oh, I'm enjoying a nice cup of hot cocoa. This is great. <coughs> But yeah, guys. So we started this drive as 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 uh, where where the, where the road is open from the Big Bear Dam into Big Bear Lake. As I said, it's it's closed from the dam to that point where we started, and then also from the dam going the other way, it's untouched. As I said, it looks like a road in the middle of Siberia, just untouched. Pretty crazy, actually. All right, so we are here through the village. And we're gonna turn left and go check out our friend's place. Just drive by it real quick. And then we're gonna head down Lakeview Drive. Thanks again for being here with me, you guys. Thanks for sharing this with me. And most of all, once again, thank you for being so cool to me. I appreciate it a lot. You guys make me feel so good. You guys have so much love. And the fact that I can do this for you guys and just show you guys what's going on in town to give you guys the information a lot of you are are seeking it's, it makes me so happy so thank you for giving me that privilege y'all we're gonna stop this till the light turns green all right here we go so back on the boulevard one of my favorite hotels the robin hood resort so yeah we're gonna turn left here real quickly and kind of go through some of the streets in the village here behind I think this is the right street yes it is but we got to get up further <clears throat> look at how much snow they have over here it really is something special and once again as I said we're gonna go through Lakeview for a little bit Just cut through a couple of the side streets when we're up there. But right now we are about to pull up to our friend's place. Let me 
open the sunroof so I can uh, <coughs> reach the phone through there. Okay, so this is it. I hope I did an okay job for you, Earl. Let me know. All right. This is Murray's, one of our good local bars. I don't drink, but I used to go sing there. So we're going to head back through the last part of the village, you guys. Give you a different perspective going out. Another good restaurant right here is Oakside Restaurant. But they are definitely not open, I don't think. I mean, nothing nothing looks any different there. All right. So pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. turn right here at Big Bear Boulevard and then take Lakeview up a little bit just to get a little shot of Lakeview and then we'll be coming back down Big Bear Boulevard to head into Upper Moon Ridge. I'm excited about that because I want you guys to see what is going on in the Upper Moon Ridge area, the most snow in town. Let me clear the windshield off a little bit. So we are on Lakeview. Look at these huge, huge snow berms. Temperature is 40 degrees. It's nice. We, I'm, in, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. It feels good out there. There's Big Bear Boulevard where the stop sign is, but we're turning on Lakeview again. So that was a little kind of short part of Lakeview that now this is the main part of Lakeview and the lake is over here. As I hit the sunroof with my freaking phone. Said we'll go through an upper moon ridge drive. And one of these first streets we're just gonna cut through and drive through some of these neighborhoods and the Big Bear Lake part of town, which we haven't been through. Yeah, we'll turn here. This is Glen. hope you guys are doing great hang on oh it's so pretty in here I am so sad that you guys can't come up here right now I heard but you need to verify that those of you who have vacation homes if you can prove that you own a house up here, even if your ID doesn't say that you uh, live here, I think they were letting people up to check on their vacation properties. So if you if you must be here, I think that's a way you can can get here. Obviously, we're all trying to. Obvious, I'm not um, intentionally trying to be in the way of all the crews trying to fix our town, but um, those those up here just a suggestion just to try our best to stay out of their way and let them get what they need to get done done so the people still really hurting can get taken care of let's see here let's, let's, let's turn down one of these streets so we turn down Mahanoi uh -huh. we'll 
we'll turn down this next street. Why not? Because there's this big truck in front of us. We don't want to be behind him. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So there's cars everywhere blocking everybody. Oh, that's cool. The dude has his. Oh wait, no, that's that's not his. I'm gonna turn this off for a quick second. All right, guys. So we've got some issues here. Got some other people blocking. That guy was really, really cool. What a what a blessing. There's so many cool people. I definitely picked the wrong street to drive down, but that's okay. People are working their butts off here. This is, I mean, this is this is craziness. Look at all the snow, you guys. It's just amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, we can get all the way through. Just gonna stop here for a quick second. Hang on, guys. All right, look at all the snow all the way up to the windows here. This is amazing. Oh, I am so feeling so happy because of how beautiful it looks here, but it has been pretty devastating for a lot of people who have not been able to get out of their homes or anything. How are you today? Good, good. Look at this. At least they got their driveway kind of plowed out, but my gosh. Just want you guys to see what it's like going into the regular neighborhoods in town. I hear you, dog. That's a lot of snow. I, I hear you, bro. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's turn left here. This is great. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn this on once we pass the village so we're not doubling up here. Just look straight ahead. Look at the roofs right there. Look at how much snow is up there. It's just so beautiful. All right, let's get back to Moon Ridge. And as I said, I'm gonna shut it off right now. Once we pull out here, here we go. That's a lot of snow right there. Oh, it's so beautiful, those roofs. All right, here we go. All right, we're back on. Instead of going straight like we did earlier, we're gonna take the main street on Big Bear Boulevard to head to Upper Moon Ridge. We haven't done this yet. So I want you guys to see what Big Bear Boulevard looks like. It's, it's guys, in most in most cases, they've done a, well, they've done a great job with the whole thing, but it's just really difficult, but it, it looks great right now. I mean, I mean, look at it. It looks great. enough to use the other lane. It's very cool. This really is crazy to see this down like this, you guys. Those of you who come up here often, you know what it usually looks like when we get a lot of snow. It really does feel like we are just an island in the sky right now.
it's important for you guys to get this view of Big Bear Boulevard just so you can see how just not that it's going to impact you because you can't come up but I want you to know that pretty much most of Big Bear Boulevard is in great shape just phenomenal shape Hey, my friend, I'll give you a call in a little bit, okay? shut off the, the camera all right hang tight folks here's summit boulevard this is where you would turn right to go to snow summit hang on Okay, we have arrived to Moon Ridge Road and we're gonna make a right hand turn here on Moon Ridge Road. And we're gonna do a quick zip through Upper Moon Ridge. Then when we come back down, we will drive by Bear. And then we will call it a day on the video. looks like it's in terrific shape as well once you guys get up here most of the roads are gonna be well most of the main roads are gonna be in pretty darn good shape it's the side roads where I'm still almost getting stuck you guys so that's a problem as well but they're taking care of all the main inf infrastructure before they get to the uh, to the stuff that's uh, you know not quite as important we need all the emergency routes open um, in town Obviously we can't get down the mountain, but to get to the hospitals, etc., etc. Just almost at the end of the new Moon Ridge corridor, and we're staying on Moon Ridge Road. There's the zoo. It's just a gorgeous place to live. So gorgeous. Sunset. And then we're going to turn left on Silvertip to head up into upper, the upper Moon Ridge. And I know I'm not doing all of Middle Moon Ridge, you guys. I'm just trying to get the um, most that we can to get you guys decent videos and decent shots. I know a lot of you have homes in Upper Moon Ridge.
silver tip. And we're coming up to Villa Grove. I always call it Lower Villa Grove. Now we're turning on Butte, and Butte will take you up to Upper Villa Grove, and then we're gonna stay on Villa Grove again all the way around. But this time we're gonna take Wolf. A little further than usual once we get to Wolf. We're gonna take Wolf to the end and then come down that side. Okay, Butte looks great, you guys. Butte looks great. It's just so sad that you guys can't come up here. You guys would not be struggling on driving these main main roads, man. Upper Moon Ridge, we have arrived. That little turn we just took is called Mira Lane, M-I-R-A. I'm not from the East Coast saying mirror. Hey, it's Mira. That, that, that'd be British, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we're on Villa Grove and we're gonna take this all the way till it turns into La Crescenta. What a beautiful mountain in the background there. This place is so gorgeous, you guys. I mean, we are unbelievably just, oh, it's, we're so lucky to live here. Was wolf which we just passed but we're gonna stay on this and because you guys some of you think that I drive way too fast I am going a lot slower because I don't want anyone to be upset and of course I don't want any accidents to happen people are already struggling enough up here right now sharp turn here. When there's ice and snow, this is a very dangerous turn right here. Really want to thank everyone who does the plow operations up here. You guys have done a great job. Thank you guys for helping out so much.
so much work up here. Terrific job by these plow people. Okay, we are coming to the end of Villa Grove. And then there's a little side street that gets us to Lock Crescenta. It's called Sunny Slope. It's maybe 100 yards long. Maybe a little less. But now we're on Lock Crescenta when we turn right here. Our next street's gonna be Wolf. We're gonna turn left on Wolf and take that as far as it can go because a lot of you have asked me to take Wolf. And I know there's a lot of other streets that I've been asked to cruise down. I'm trying to remember you guys. It's been so many, it's been so many. And of course I wanna do it for you. My memory is just not the greatest. I've never had so, ma so many requests in my entire life and I'm honored to do it though. That's the, it's fun to do this for you guys and share. Uh, some of these videos with those of you who want to see certain areas it makes me so happy but yeah there's a lot of snow up here chocolate put me on my butt Okay, here we are at Wolf. So usually we turn right, but we're gonna take Wolf till it ends. So our friends who wanted me to go down Wolf can see what it looks like on Wolf. It's not gonna be too much different than what we've just seen, but it is different than what we've done so far. And then we're gonna go down into Moon Ridge a different way. 37 degrees up here. that is it'll be so nice to have one of these houses up here I want to give my wife the cutest house ever street is this you can't even see the street sign <laughs> it's completely buried oh there we go canyon crest so we're going to turn right on canyon crest start heading down and this is going to take us down into a different part of moon ridge look at the view of the mountains straight ahead that's really pretty very steep you guys so when there is a bunch of ice and snow like this right right ahead of us but when it's constant on the road it's 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 pretty freaky driving down this drive
emergency evacuation route. So this street we're turning left on is called Calusa. Calusa. Douches leaving their broken sleds there. I'm telling you guys, we need to keep this place clean. Anybody ever sees anyone litter, like tossing something out of their car, just go pick it up and throw it right back in their face. That's just the, it's, it's just the most messed up thing ever. This is every one of your vacation spots, and I want to keep it like that. I, I want everyone on this channel to have a beautiful place to come visit. But there's still a lot of disrespectful people out there. It's it's everywhere, you know. It's everywhere. But if they don't learn their lessons and no one says or does anything about it, it's just going to keep on happening. All right. So this is going to take us to, I think, I think the street. I think it's called Deer Canyon. I could be wrong, though. so untouched Look at that. there's some animal tracks up there but my goodness it's so beautiful This should be sheep horn. It is. So we're going to turn left on sheep horn and then head down to Moon Ridge Road and then turn left to head to Bear Mountain to get a beautiful view of Bear today again with the beautiful sunny skies. So we're in the middle Moon Ridge area now. They still have tons of snow over here. Let's turn left here. Here we go. And as I said, once we pass Bear, that's going to be it for the video. Let's see if I can stick my hand out for the golf course so you guys can just see how pristine and beautiful it looks with all the snow. Guys, there's nobody here. Here's the new bear right here in front of us. There's no one in the parking lot. That is just epic. We could hop in there, but we're not going to. I'm just going to pull over because.
because there's no one behind us. However, as far as we can go right here, get a nice look at bear. guys thanks again for enjoying the videos i appreciate it i'm glad i can give you guys the information that you need and the stuff that i don't know i'm i'm so sorry about that you guys i do try my best and anything i don't know i really do my best to try to get you that information so in the meantime you guys take care of yourselves hope to see you all up here sooner than later and uh yeah if you like what i'm doing please like and subscribe i would it would help me a lot. It would help me a lot. And uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. It's March 6, 2023 in Big Bear, California. And uh, this is it for our How Much Snow is Remaining video. Take care.